I'm Angel Naftali, and I'm going to take you on a little history tour in Cambridge. The African American Heritage Trail is the history of the African American community in Cambridge. For those of you who didn't know, Cambridge is rich and quite complex with ancestry and history. We would like to let you know that the first African Americans were brought to Cambridge against their will. The practice of slavery was also a tremendous controversy in New England. After slavery was abolished in Massachusetts in 1783, many free slaves remained in Cambridge. They were later joined in the 1840s by many slaves who were trying to escape slavery. The handful of individuals whom the African American Heritage Trail celebrates and commemorates through markers in the city of Cambridge are just a few of many who have distinguished themselves in the city of Cambridge between 1840 and 1940. They have been able to document as far back as 1630 when the first known African Americans arrived in Cambridge soon after the Puritans settled here. In 1639, there is documentation leading to the earliest reference to a moor belonging to the household of the master of the Harvard College. By the late 1600s, many African Americans arrived and were sold to wealthy families to work as servants and farmhands. Around the 1750s, several West Indian planters settled in Cambridge. They joined a small colonial elite who had risen out of the original Puritan families. They built large houses in the villages and around Brattle Street, staffing them with servants from their plantations in the West Indies, such as Antigua and Jamaica, just to name a few. The story of slavery, freedom, and the abolitionist movement grew and became quite strong right here in Cambridge. The You Are Here video news magazine was invited to hear more about this fascinating historical information. The Cambridge African American Heritage Trail Committee held a very informative, stimulating lecture leading the participant on discovery and exploration of the African American experience in Cambridge. It was held at the Hooper Lee Nichols House at 159 Brattle Street in Cambridge, courtesy of the Cambridge Historical Society, who works collectively with the African American Heritage Trail Committee, ensuring that the historical facts about the ancestors and people who live in Cambridge are validated and archived. The Hooper Lee Nichols House is one of such historical sites that the Cambridge Historical Society has restored in its original form. You can visit the Cambridge Historical Society for more information. The guest speaker for the African American experience in Cambridge was genealogist and attorney Kenyatta D. Barry, who has an extensive background in genealogy and has worked with the African American Roots DNA Project at the University of Massachusetts in Lowell. Kenyatta's interactive presentation was titled, There Is No Peace, The Abolition Movement in Cambridge and Boston. In her presentation, she tells the story of many former African Americans and abolitionists who took part in the movement for freedom, the fight for the cause of American liberty. She gives historical facts and information about the many prominent members in Cambridge, from slaves to abolitionists, telling their stories and struggles. She describes through the words of Patrick Henry, who said that there is no peace. If liberty is not worth fighting for, it is not worth having. And if he could not live here in Boston as a free man, then in the language of Socrates, he had lived long enough. Kenyatta talked about Joshua Bowen Smith, who was born as a free slave and was a confidant of U.S. Senator Charles Sumner, Maria Chapman, who founded the Female African Slave Society, John Brown, abolitionist and member of the New England Freedom Association, William Wells Brown, escaped slave. These are just a few of the great legends of Cambridge, from slavery to fugitive slaves to free slaves, those who have helped them, like abolitionists to the Underground Railroad. Cambridgians throughout the years 
and long legacies of history work hard to mark the important historical events and pay tribute to the ancestors and great individuals throughout time that have molded, cultivated, and grown Cambridge to be what it is today. We ask that you take time to learn more about Cambridge or the city that you were born in. Learn and teach your children about your ancestors and your family tree. Keep records of where you and your ancestors have come from, where they have been and what they have endured or overcome. Know where you are going and what is up ahead on the long journey we all must trod. For more information on how to do this, contact Kenyatta D. Barry on the web at www.discovergenealogy.com or contact the Cambridge African American Heritage Trail Committee Chairman Mr. Leroy Cragwell. Contact the Cambridge Historical Commission. Watch CCTV for a complete presentation on There Is No Peace with Kenyatta D. Berry and the Cambridge African American Heritage Trail Committee exploring the African American experience in Cambridge. I'm Angel Naftali reporting for You Are Here, Video News Magazine in Cambridge.